Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Superfreak187 here with my very first attempt at a Gunpla video. Our build today is the Master Grade Gundam Dynamis and I picked this one up during a Christmas sale on New Type, and it's been part of a bundle that was with the Master Grade Kyrios and the Master Grade 00 XN Riser or the 00 Zan Riser. Uh, the Kyrios I've already built but if you're interested in checking on pics on Twitter I'm pretty sure I'm going to be uploading everything onto their performing build video so if you really want to check it out check it out on twitter there you go and the double o is going to be the next build video which is going to be coming very soon This is my ninth build overall, and I still consider myself a beginner in all of this. So please, you know, like, please feel free to offer me up suggestions in the comments and checking things out. There's a couple of things that I may be doing wrong that you're seeing. If you feel, if you feel free to just give me any comments or suggestions, I'm definitely open to all constructive criticism and uh, definitely leave any tips or info that might be helpful. Or even if how to make these videos better for you guys, I'm also open to that as well. This took approximately 20 hours of build time. And I'll say that the model itself took about 14 hours, right? Cutting all the pieces from the runners and getting all the plastic and snapping the pieces together. And as far as panel lining and water slides, that took about six hours total. This was actually my first time using water slides and I definitely can understand why they're preferred to sticker decals that Bandai includes in the kit. If you want to see a finished product and make a comparison, be sure to check out the pictures again. I'll do a side by side with the Gundam Curios and the Gundam Dynamis and that way you can see the difference between sticker decals and the water slides. Working with water slides, I definitely learned a few things too. Uh, I did use Mark Softener and Mark Setter. You definitely have to be careful when using Mark Softener. I ended up using multiple coats and it actually started to break down some of the parts of the decal. So one to two passes of the Mark Softener should be enough. I gotta say I really enjoyed working on this kit. So far the quality of the Gundam 00 series Master Grades has been fantastic. The Curious was a joy to build and the Dynamis as well. Things are looking up for the 00 Zan Riser even though it's an older Master Grade kit, but I will say that I'm absolutely looking forward to it and sharing it with you guys.
pros of this kit, it's easy to build. It's great looking. It's sturdy. The joints are just overall amazing. It has great articulation. There's so many poses that you can pull off. There's so many accessories and parts that you can move around and weapons and it gives you so much variety. If you are into Gunpla, this is a fantastic kit. It's a fantastic build and I would completely recommend it. Like this is not really a review, it's just more so my opinions on the build process and I just had so much fun with this one. The cons, I would take caution with the green pieces. There's a lot of stress marks that can come up when cutting the green pieces. So there's gonna be a lot of aftercare. You might wanna cut them a little bit off and sand the pieces down instead. Um, but that's definitely a different technique and it would depend on what you guys wanna do. If you're a painter, and your customizer, you don't really have to worry about that because you'll just be customizing and, and painting over the parts anyway. Uh, the cons are also the decals. Use water slides, guys. Look into a kit that you're gonna order. If it has decals and it's sticker decals, I would definitely order water slides along with the kit. They're much better to work with than the sticker decals that Bandai includes, you know, like Bandai, you include Water slide decals on the Verka kits, you should definitely start including some water slide decals. That should be the standard. The standard should be water slide decals. It's been amazing to use them. You, it, it takes a little bit of work, but at the end result, it looks fantastic. There's also a lot of issues with the non-color corrected pieces and you know that may be a con for you, it may not be, but I'll tell you what, there is a resin kit that you can use to have a little more anime accuracy if that's what you're looking for. That may be something you want to put in there and, and, and put the work into if that's something that you're, you're looking for as far as anime accuracy or mobile suit accuracy. It is fairly expensive but it looks amazing. I like to work on kits and give the most pristine model of it the, the way it comes out of the box. I don't paint. Uh, the only thing that I do is I top coat with a flat matte top coat and that's only that's all I do so far. So what I do is I try to clean up the pieces as best as possible and that's how I tend to work on Gunpla. But that's the beauty of Gunpla. You can work on kits however you want to work on them. You can do whatever you want to do. Another con would be the LEDs that's included. Uh, there are no LEDs included. There is an LED unit that you will need for this kit, two of them to be exact, because there is a portion of the GN drive that's visible on the back side and also on the front side. And it does look good. Bandai has some cheap LEDs. I ended up picking up a couple of, you know, bootleg ones off of Amazon that worked fantastic and I'm very happy with them. And they come with five for the same price that Bandai has for just two. So just put Putting that out there my final impressions on this kit man 
I would recommend this kit to anybody who's an aspiring Gunpla builder or anything, even if you're a fan of Double O or not. This is a fantastic build. This has been an amazing build process. Uh, it's really awesome. Even if you're learning, beginner or not, this master grade is really a piece of work. It's really well designed. Kudos to Bandai on this one. I would definitely encourage picking it up. And totally, I, you know, I'm a big fan of this kit just due to the design, due to it being from Gundam Double O. I just recently watched Gundam Double O not too long ago. Uh, I've had it on my list. I went in order of just watching Gundam Wing, Gundam Double O, and I've been watching IBO. And I just finished watching IBO as well, so I've been binging them pretty hard. But I've been watching Gundam Double O, and I gotta say, I, I really enjoyed both seasons, especially coming from Gundam Wing. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, Gundam Double O and what the anime was able to show and I'm a really big fan of the suit designs that they had there as well. Uh, so much so that I got myself the Master Grade Kyrios, the Master Grade Dynamis, and the Master Grade Double O Zan Riser, which there's going to be a video for the Zan Riser coming out soon. Uh, so definitely I would say watch this anime, pick up this suit, and just check it out. Alright everyone, that's going to be it for today. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this kit, if you have it yourself and you made a build. Uh, also, just let me know if there is anything that you would like to see uh, and if there's anything that you'd like for me to change in how I do things or if there's anything that I could do to improve as well. I'm working on the uh, next video, which is going to be the Double Ozan Riser, and that should be coming out next week as well. I'm currently working on the video right now, so hopefully I can get that guys uh, for you guys as soon as possible. I'll also be working on my journey into Gunpla. What got me into all this? Why am I interested? What are my goals? What kind of videos do you expect to see in the future? So stay tuned for that. Check it out. Hope you guys like it. This was an amazing build. And I'll see you guys in some future builds. Peace.